This is a Head Start program in which the main object is survival. Every year, the Oregon Zoo in Portland and the Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle raise threatened native western pond turtles. After being raised for 9 to 11 months, the turtles are about 4 inches across. That's too big to fit in the mouth of non-native invasive bullfrogs. Then the turtles are released at four sites on the Washington side of the Columbia River Gorge. We help get the word out about what we do at the zoo, which is raise our turtles every year. We go and collect them out in the wild and then bring them to the zoo, raise them for 10 months to make sure they're big enough so they won't be eaten. Turtles being raised at the zoos are used as a teaching tool for students to learn about the devastating effects of non-native invasive species. Every year, students get to participate in the release of the reptiles and watch them take their first foray into the wild since being hatched. Back in 1990, we believed there were only about 150 western pond turtles left in the state of Washington. And now, with the release today, we believe that we've got about 1,300. So our project has been very successful. Because they spend the entire time eating and growing, the turtles, which are about four inches across the shell, are about the same size as they would be as two-year-olds in the wild. They're now 10 months old, and, uh, or actually 11 months, it's August now, and going back into the wild where they will have to do the rest of it on their own, find their own food. From everything we've seen with the turtles that we've released since 1991, they know how to do this. The zoo's turtle program has two parts. The first is raising native western pond turtles until they are too big to fit in a bullfrog's mouth, then releasing them. The second is to control bullfrog numbers. That is done both by collecting their eggs before those can hatch and by drying up sections of the ponds when they are vulnerable as tadpoles. There is a hotline for the public to use to alert state officials to any unusual plants, insects, or animals.